at Stadium Australia, part of the Olympic Sports Complex here in the great city of Sydney. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And now it is very much final in more ways than one. The decisive match here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Argentina against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. The starting 11 for Brazil. Well, 4-4-2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And so the match is underway. Nice looking pass. And no problems at all for the keeper. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Could be... The first goal in the final. You've got to drink in these moments. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. to Rome on the wing for Brazil must be well if we're being honest she should have squared the game absolutely that was a great chance to equalise and she didn't take it that's a bad miss really Really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Romina Nunez and Brazil have it back now Bia Zanerato chance to play it in across lacking guile and accuracy
Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Yamila Rodriguez. Cruz. A oh, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Determined defending. Now, who can she play it to? Oh, surely. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way. Surely. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Via Zanerato. And a good challenge to bring that. And there she is in with a chance. Oh, she saved it. Well, she's denied a certain goal there. Fantastic reaction from the keeper. Let's see about the delivery. Brilliantly blocked. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Straight offside, but only just. Mariana La Roquette. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Marta. Might be able to set up the chance. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity, certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Running room and the wide position. Must be. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, just look at this again. Great technique, perfect contact, and a brilliant finish. Top stuff. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Cometi. Estefania Banini. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And there is courageous goalkeeping for you. But it's also good goalkeeping. She did so well to get down to the feet of the striker. Really good bit of play from her. And possession seeded by Argentina.
Well, she was hoping perhaps not to have to blow the whistle, but in the end it will be a free kick. Well, just a warning from the referee this time. And I think the referee has got that absolutely right. It's not a card for me. And there to intervene. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. This looks more than decent. Oh, it's in! To give them the lead in the final. The stuff that dreams are made of. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Goal. And Brazil get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to this setback? Marta. She's made a really important challenge. Now, does she mean business? Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, here it is again. And I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. So back underway and level pegging at 3-3. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Getting in there to intercept. And threading it forward. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Bon segundo. Well, she's playing with a purpose. Has a go. Superb block. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they keep it going? Options in the middle. And the goalkeeper taking charge. Florencia Bonsegundo. And showing everyone her abilities in possession. And will it be the leveller? They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. You don't get too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four.
It's looking promising. And a long way out. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And you don't want to lose possession there. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here's the replay. And sometimes when you're being pressed high up the field, you have to go that little bit longer and not play out through the thirds. And that's what they tried to do here. They had their pocket picked and suddenly they find the ball in the back of the net. And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Oh, this is looking promising. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though. To extend their lead here. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. She stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for her, she's got it wrong. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Florencia Bonsegundo. Just the challenge that was required. Zanarato. Gezi. Ari Borges. goes down as a wonderful save but hang on offside is the decision here Cruz Yamila Rodriguez This attack looks highly promising. Could be. And the keeper more than equal to the task. So the corner played into the box. Textbook defending inside the box. Da Costa on to Borges plenty of support here well they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity they will now make use of their substitutes bench Ramirez Mata Pia Zanerato onto Caroline Debinha is this the moment oh it's goalkeeping at its finest 
Absolutely right. That is a wonderful save. Top class stuff from the keeper. Elects to go short. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, here's the replay, and it's the perfect ball in. Hard and low, causing plenty of issues for that back line. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. That is that for the first half here. Might be able to set up the chance. So back underway here into the second half. Very quick thinking there. Dabinha. And space here on the flank. Is it going to be? Save, but still a chance. Well, a great save. And then hanging on to the ball. Well, you have to say the first save was a brilliant stop. Then she got a bit lucky when it came back to her, but great goalkeeping. The fans imploring her to shoot. And it goes down as a missed opportunity from there. Geze, Marta, Zanarato. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. Kerodin, Debinha. Well, the attack peters out, and that means it's goalkeeper's ball. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Effective challenge. Useful looking ball. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top quality goal. Banini, well really on top of her game, looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. Geze, 
Beautiful pass. Makes the move to the inside. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. It should be. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing this defence apart time and time again. They simply can't handle her. Well, here's the replay. And just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. 30 minutes to go, then. Gezi. And teammates around her. And outfoxing her opponent. Easy save. And unable to keep the ball. Harry Borges. Well read to win possession back. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Gazing. Zanarato. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to, they could score a hatful of goals here. Oh, this is looking promising. Well, she's made sure nothing untoward happened. Shot attempted. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Corner kick played in. of goals, no let up here well here it is again it's a well delivered ball into the box while the movement in the box is equal to it it's such good timing, what a goal The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Twenty minutes remaining. Devinha. Now with Caroline. Takes the shot. Body in the way. Well, they're going for the short one. Oh, the threat is there. The corner kicks keep on coming. So a personnel change then. Yeah. 
and taken short Sampaio and a body in the way a foul it most certainly was free kick given Lorena Benitez Bon Segundo Banini Opportunity it is and there's the goal she was hoping for now she can celebrate Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Debinha Gabi Nunes making progress is she going to score and a fine stop How about the short corner? Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. And a throw in for Argentina. Pressing high to win the ball. Pressing as a team. Now, who can she play it to? Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Tamires. Tabinha. Nunes happy to take on the shot and a relatively straightforward save for the keeper now the pressure being exerted oh dealt with by the goalkeeper And played short. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? And short it is. Raffaele. Body on the line. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. And now the delivery. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Banini, a move of promise on the flank. Oh, big opportunity! 
and the ball is loose. Oh, she was razor sharp. The keeper just couldn't stop her. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Sampaio. Promising sequence. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Estefania Banini. Florencia Bonsegundo. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Gabi Nunes. Well, she's playing with a purpose. And there goes the final whistle. Brazil have won the Women's World Cup for the very first time. Well, look what it means to these players. They can't believe it, can they? It's a great achievement for them. Runners up, Brazil, back in 2007. But what terrific progress they've made. And they fully deserve this triumph here down under. And now the Brazilian players prepare for the trophy presentation. Well, this is what it's all about. This is what they've been dreaming of. They are the world champions. Popular winners, Brazil, the best team in the world. And that is official. They've dazzled us with their skillful football these last few weeks. And the fans have played their part as well. That's why they're celebrating with them. It's been a great team effort. Coaches, fans, players, they are deserving winners.